Right now, icy roads causing major problems. A pileup has shut down U.S. 35 in both directions, and we're told a Dayton fire captain was injured in the process. And that's where we find Brooke Moore, who is joining us now live with details. Holly, we're told by fire officials that right now that fire captain who was hurt, he was thrown at least 20 to 30 feet after being hit by a car. He's in stable condition right now at a hospital where staff as well as family members are with him. But take a look here. We're still dealing dealing with the aftermath of this uh, crash earlier. There were 11 cars involved in this and it all started when the car that was up on its side there resting against that pole crashed sometime around 530 this morning. That uh, fire captain who was injured was one of the first on the scene here and we're told that as he was checking on the person inside that car that is when another car slid on this ice and hit him throwing him 20 to 30 feet and from then on it was just car after car sliding along this ice here uh, 35 near Gettysburg still shut down in both directions here and we're also told that the person in that original car was also taken to a hospital to be checked out and we talked to fire chief Herbert Redden out here and we just asked him about these icy conditions and if anyone's to blame here. I wouldn't say that it was anybody's fault because the streets were the streets were nice except when you got to a bridge. Now for some reason 35 the bridges freeze up on 35 quicker than the other bridges for some reason. So right now, again, if you haven't headed out yet, 35 uh, Liscom to Gettysburg in that area is still blocked off, so you'll need to take a different route uh, if you go that way in the mornings. But take this as a, a warning for you that we are dealing with icy conditions and possible black ice out there on the roads, especially on those bridges and overpasses. So be careful as you head out, and of course, we'll keep you updated on their cleanup process out here on 35. Reporting live, I'm Brooke Moore, 2 News Today.